those 11-inch fangs? They were actually its biggest weakness. Here's why it went extinct. First, it wasn't a tiger, not even closely related. Smilodon was a completely separate branch of cat evolution. It just looked similar. Those canines could reach 11 inches long, but they were fragile, like glass daggers. One bite into bone, they'd shatter. So how did it hunt without breaking its teeth? It didn't bite down hard. Instead, it used its massive neck muscles to wrestle prey to the ground first. Then it carefully positioned those fangs to slice through the throat. Precision over power. But here's why it went extinct 11,000 years ago. Its prey vanished. Giant sloths, mammoths, mastodons, all disappeared. Smilodon starved because it couldn't adapt fast enough. Smilodon fatalis weighed 600 pounds, twice the size of a modern lion. All muscle, built for taking down megafauna. When the giants died out, so did the saber-tooth. We've found over 2,000 saber-tooth skulls in the La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles. They got trapped trying to eat animals stuck in the tar, a death trap that preserved them perfectly. Would you rather have saber-tooth fangs or modern tiger bite force? Drop for fangs for bite? Like, share and hit subscribe to Family Video for more extinct legends. Next episode, scientists are trying to bring back the woolly mammoth. And they're actually close. How? They've recovered intact DNA from frozen mammoths. The plan? Implant it in an elephant. A hybrid could be alive in 10 years. Is this a good idea? Watch that next.